guys, it's JFCM Snakes here, and today I am doing a video on how to clean your um, snake vivarium. As you can tell, all the bedding and all the um, insides are already out, um, but I don't really need a tutorial for that, you know how to do that. Um, and we're going to start it straight away. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your disinfectant and you're just going to spray all of your, um, all of the floor and upper bits of your vivarium. Um, this is just a normal reptile disinfectant, you always want to make sure it's a reptile just in case. Um, and as you can tell it was $5.99 from a reptile store called Doolittles. And it's a very, very, very good shop if you live on the Bridge North area. Um, yeah, so we're we'll going to just get straight into um, doing the next stage. Okay, so now we're at the next stage. We're just going to take our bedding and just empty all our bedding back into the tank. As you know, I've already done a similar video to this on uh, how to set up a baby corn snake uh, tub. Well, all you have to do is just spread it out. You just want to make sure it's all even. Obviously, this isn't nowhere near enough. Okay, so then we we'll put it back again. This is, this bag was 20 litres, yeah, as you saw in my unboxing video, 20 litres of swell reptiles. They are a great site, I'll put their link down in the description. This is their own bedding, um, just their soft chip bedding. And the first time I've tried it, um, as you can tell I've already done Zeki this morning. good so far so well I'll come back when it's all done okay guys so now I have um, put all my um, bedding in it's all at a level thing a level um, a good level which is about an inch because he, he likes to burrow in here and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my box of things which are just here and I want to put them back in a new place because I like sprucing it up a bit. We'll start at the left hand side. So I'm going to start with the hide. I'm going to bring it in. This one can stay in the same place. Actually. Actually. You know what? Let's swap the hides. This one can come in at this side. I haven't been here yet, so time for a change. Okay, there we go. So that means this one's going to come in. Put it in at the back over here. There we go, like that. And then we're going to take our wood, which are our two things. We're going to put this one here at the front. Put this one over to here. And we'll put our water bowl always and comfortably in the middle the back so now okay, well obviously you guys know that I have this big stick and first time I got this it was a real pain to put up hopefully it'll be a bit easier this time so I'm just going to make sure that that fits in there we go put it back there we go there hooked on now that all works Time to flip right, right back on. That's looking good. And put the thermometer back in. Just there. And guys, that is the setup done. We're just going to grab my water. I'm just going to put the water to his water bowl. Enough for him to lie in. And guys, that is setting it up done. Um, I think it, I think it's come out well. So yeah, I'll put him back in. Okay, so here we are looking at um Car in his tub. This is where I just keep him while I clean his vivarium. I just keep him in this feeding tub. So oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab him. But you see, he shed. A really nice shed yesterday. Um, beautiful shed. 
There it is. But time to put him back in. Yeah. to make sure he's drinking he's drinking guys he's drinking guys he's drinking I really want it please focus Guys, I have never seen him drink before. That was. Oh, that was. Okay, guys. Um, you've just seen me set up the vivarium. The night for the boring bit. Clean it up. Okay, well thank you for watching my how to set up or clean a vivarium and I'd just like to take this part of the video just to say thank you to a few people. Um, first person would be Juggernaut Reptiles because he's been talking to me a lot, um, commenting on my videos and I know he's got a, quite a few subscribers so thank you very much to him. Second person would be Quinton Man. Um, he's been helping me a lot on some of my videos, giving me a lot of support. And then you've got someone who I've only started talking to recently, is Reptile Landing. Um, you go and check out his videos, he's more lizards but he's still a really amazing YouTuber, he does some incredible videos. So those guys, I just really want to say thank you and I'm going to say a thank you to someone else. Brian Barczyk, he's probably not going to be watching this, if he is, hi, uh, you're a massive inspiration. But He's been retweeting a lot of my tweets to all of his followers and I'm really trying to make this um, channel grow so if you could leave a like, subscribe, it would be a massive help and go and check out the guys in the uh, channels in the description that would also be a big help to them and thank you for watching, it's JFCM6